You ain't tough. I bet I could take you in a real fight, you know? Real. Let's not find out, friend. I ain't your friend, boy. It ain't me who asked you out here with us. I know what y'all think of me. I'm the meathead. I mean, I'm there to eat the pen. And let the rest of the crown jewels keep their heat. But I ain't no sidekick. You hear? Before Van Emerald of the crown jewels reunion thing, I was making towns and contending for titles. <laughs> I never won them, though. I never won them. <laughs> I'm a good hand. I'm a champion like Emerald. I, I, I could take him in a real fight, too. I could. We would take all y'all. Should we help? Oh, nah, leave him. He's woken up in worse places, believe me. Come on, kid. Let's take a walk. Just the two of us. The second span was supposed to be completed by now. Ready for the world's fair this year, they said. But I guess New Orleans is like wrestling that way. It's more about what you can sell than what you can deliver. Ruby won't be with us much longer. His body's breaking down. He's a mean drunk. He's right, though. He probably could kick my ass. Look, even in the shape he's in, if he came at me, sober, phew, phew. he's legit, you know? Collegiate wrestling. NCAA championship out of Iowa. Olympic prospect at one time, even. Really? You wouldn't think it to look at him. Oh, a long time ago now. I mean, I know a little. You know, when I first came up in the late 50s, the business had a lot more carny to it than it does now. Why? Be careful! So you had to know how to shoot. Enough to protect yourself if your opponent decided to go into business for themselves. You know what I mean? First time I won the title was back in 72. Against Kojaks. You know Kojaks? A little, only by reputation. Van, what are we doing? Bernie the Bear. Kojaks. He was the man all through the 60s. Had one brutal European uppercut for a finisher. He took me under his wing when I was coming up, taught me a lot. Not the fundamentals, I had those. I mean carrying yourself like a star. When the time came to make me and put me over, he wouldn't do the job. Said I wasn't ready yet. Well, the bookers disagreed. They thought he'd been the man a little too long. And people weren't buying it anymore. So they tell him he's going over. And they tell me that I'm going to take that title however I can get it. I love the bear. Like a father, you know that. Anyway, I hooked in an arm bar ten minutes in, broke his arm to make him submit. Couldn't throw that European uppercut the same after that. His career faded out pretty quick. I think a lot about the cost, what I did to get on top. How one day maybe I'll get paid back in kind. Receipt. I don't want to end up like Bear. I want to be better. I don't fear my run ending. All the money, the accolades, none of it would mean as much as crowning a successor who build on this title's legacy. Someone like you. Wow. Be honest with me. How big is this match tomorrow for you? It's big. The house is over 5,000 for Baton Rouge tomorrow. Hell, P.W. you don't tend to run venues like that. And since this is a title match, I know tape could travel beyond Louisiana All Access. Folk all across America could be seeing me wrestle for the first time. Uh, uh, uh. 
I might be going over tomorrow. See? But I want you to look like such a star that the GWA board of directors see you as potentially the one to take the belt off me down the line. And I know just how you're going to do it. You're going to kick out of the Emerald Fusion. What? But no one. No one kicks out of the Emerald Fusion, I know. So just think how that crowd will explode when you kick out it too. Let me do the baby face heat, the comeback, and I win with the cheap roll up. Pull the tights. <laughs> Leave that question mark where people need the rematch. Maybe this takes a year or more to pay off, but it's a first step. Let's put you on the path, kid. Thanks for this, man. I won't let you down. <laughs>